Hi, welcome back to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and today I'm going to try to crack this safe. <laughs> so if you guys know anything about me, you'll know that I'm a sucker for cheap or free stuff. Well, today, when we pulled up to church, we hold church in the Boys and Girls Club, and at the dumpster next to the park sat this safe, which was mightily intriguing to me. But the problem was that it was actually, it's actually locked. Somebody locked it, and then they couldn't remember the combination. They can't get it closed, and so they're throwing it out. Well, I don't feel like I'm really stealing anything, per se, since it's opened, it's not like I'm getting a safe that, uh, that's closed and I'm trying to crack the code on. So I got it. I brought it home. My wife suggested, hey, if nothing else, maybe you could make a forge from it, being that it's a century. It's fireproof, right? That's the whole, that's the whole aim of it. But before I do that, well, I want to see if I can crack it. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? So my first thought with this thing is to try to get a hold of the company and see what I can do about a uh, lost combination. Well, that doesn't take too awful much thinking to go, that's not really going to work because they're going to require verification of ID before they give it to me or else every burglar that wanted to try to get into a sentry safe could just call them. So that's no good. So I want to, uh, I want to look. I saw something about uh, lost keys and combinations. So I want to look to see, I don't see any key thing on this, but I wonder, I'm wondering if there's one underneath here that maybe, just maybe, uh, maybe we can just pick the key lock and start there. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, it's moving. What we got? Ah! Well, uh, it's not too promising. Perhaps, perhaps we'll come back to that. Uh, but I want to do a little bit more looking first before I do that. Let's see what we got here. There's a cover of some sort here. Or maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in there. Maybe. Mm. You know, there's a little bit of powder around the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that that's the fireproofing that goes on the inside of here. So, mm -hmm. instead, I'm going to take this little cover off. Take a look, see what's behind there. Mm, I think we can get it off here. Is it really going to be that easy? I think it is. So, I don't know if you can see what's going on here. That cover is just covering the mechanism for the lock. So all we've got to do, now that we've got this open, let's see, I'm going to see if I can do this so that you guys on camera can see it. Let me move the camera. All right, so since we can see this, all I've got to do, we've got three discs here, right? We've got to watch the first one that's uh, closest to the knob. We're going to watch it. This is a super simple mechanism here. Okay. You see the slot? That first disc has a slot on the thing now. So we're going to go... Oops. Ah, messed it up. So, first disc, slot to the thing. Now I'm going to look on the back and I'm going to take note of what number that's it. That's on. Now I'm going to go the other way and see if we can line up the second disc. Right, here comes the slot. Lined up. Note the number. Now the last disc we're going to go until wind up the slot and 
There we have it, boys and girls. That. Now I know. That's how you figure out the combination if somebody happens to lock the safe open and you can get to it behind this little cover right here. All you gotta do is look at it and uh, check that out. Now, got myself a free safe. Ha <laughs> ha!